Hi everyone, welcome to another day of Vlogmas. I'm vlogging in my car. It is only 6.17 in the morning, hence the shadowing. It is pitch dark outside. We're gonna head to work. I'm gonna get my coffee and we'll check in when we get there. I don't know why my wipers are on. Let's turn them off. It is so dark up this morning. Waiting now for you Okay, so I'm at school now and the kids are about to get here probably within five minutes But I thought I would share with you what my classroom is looking like and how um, What's been really taking a lot of my time these past few weeks and um, I'm in love with it. I absolutely love having my own space and having a room of my own So I'm home now. It is 5.25. It's so late. Um, but I'm sitting in front of the computer. In front of the computer and I have to go through my external hard drive and delete a bunch of clips because I'm out of space. And in order to edit today's vlog and yesterday's, which you would have seen like day one of Vlogmas, I need to clear some space because I can't upload the footage from my camera. So I'm going to do that and then I am going to probably um, I think clean out a drawer in my bathroom or uh, my office. I don't know if I get time to do any of those. Like I said, it's already nearly 530 and I'm really tired tonight. So I might actually go to bed early after I edit these clips. Um, two days of vlogmas but we shall see in any case i'm going to go and clear some space on my hard drive and upload the camera <laughs> oh my gosh guys it's after eight my computer's probably going to get really loud because i just finished editing day one of vlogmas and hopefully we'll get that scheduled soon but it is 844 and I still want to get a shower tonight before bed. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I tell you, it's um day one actually ended up being about 10 minutes long. I talked a lot. Today probably won't be as long, and I didn't feel like I did anything. Um, I didn't share dinner, which was um oh I don't think I shared dinner on that vlog either, and I did have a clip. I don't know. I'm a mess, that's all I know. <laughs> So tonight for dinner, we had Caesar salad from the romaine that I bought yesterday and French onion soup. That was really good. I still feel like I have so much that I have to get done before tomorrow morning because tomorrow is officially December 1st. If you're a mom, you know exactly what that means. So I have all that and um, I kind of need to get my plan for Vlogmas this year. I think I'm going to have a few sit down videos, but I just have to find time to sit down and actually film them. Um, my office is a hot mess. I'll share that with you while this is um, getting ready and producing. So. so this is what my office is looking like right now. I have my silhouette out, which is on the fritz. It kind of goes in and out, whether it connects to the computer or not. I have my board is a mess and it doesn't actually have anything that's really important on it. Um, I am absolutely freezing. It's so cold in here, but I need to go through these drawers because it's just a pile of things that I've had forever that I'm not using and there's really no point in holding on to them. Uh, I have notes from a blog post, which... I should. Oh, I have this. This is on my blog. 
Um, I created this Christmas I Spy free printable. Uh, blog's always linked in the description box. So if you want to go and read that, this is on the free, free printable section on the blog. Um, I'm testing it out and I have a uh, scavenger hunt. I have two lists on there. I was printing them to see if they would print properly because I have never made free printables. So that was exciting. I did that for the first time. Um, I do have my new 2020 planner. Absolutely beautiful. I bought this at the Dollarama. It was only $4. And I'm going to use this for all my YouTube and blog content. So I'm going to try to stay organized when it comes to that. I have some Cricut things that I use with my silhouette. Then over in the closet, once we get there, it's, it's a mess. Like I have um, a bunch of like crafting silhouette, uh, well, it's all Cricut brand but you can use them on the silhouette products there then I have a bunch of like markers and pens these were marked down my plan is to use the silhouette to make some like little mini signs and spray paint the signs so I thought they were a good price I think they were two dollars which is cheaper than buying like this framed wood which this is for something a gift for somebody so I have that excuse me if I sound like I'm cold because I am freezing and shivering um down on this shelf we have paperwork and a glue gun and exacto knives this is the pump for Madeline's air mat two candles this one is a pe twisted peppermint which I could probably take out now and that's champagne toast more papers more things and to mishmash stuff these things i am pretty sure i can get rid of a lot of it because i had this cardstock craft scrapbook paper in here for probably years probably like five to ten years um i know i'll end up using it eventually so like i find it really hard to like get rid of this stuff but like i know madeline I'll have to start letting her use this because, um, yeah, maybe if I start using the silhouette more, but who am I kidding? <laughs> it's my... I think Dawn from The Minimal Mom calls it, like, your future self or your fantasy self. My fantasy self is a huge crafter who has all the time in the world to sit down and to make all those, you know, print pinterest inspired things with their cricket machines or in my case my silhouette machine all the signs and the cards and the banners and everything works so perfectly and you can craft and make t-shirts and mugs and yeah that's my fantasy self and i used to um have the vision of being a scrapbooker and I have a drawer full of scrapbooking things and all the scrapbooking paper so I need to get a reality check whether or not this fantasy self Jen is actually going to have the time to do that between everything else in my life that I am doing alongside of YouTube and blog work I don't know if it's going to be possible and this is all these scrapbooking things. No, I did get rid of a lot, and I think a lot of these are Disney related, so I have a really hard time getting rid of those. I have a lot of like Halloween ones that I got in a um, like these are Martha Stewart bat stickers that I ended up getting in a grab bag. These were only 79 cents for Disney, um, a random Nerf gun. Halloween. Oh, these are stickers for school. I could probably take these. These are from Target. I'm gonna take those to school. And these to school. Look at that. So, let me see. Motivational stickers. Okay, I'll take those to school. Halloween. Then we have puffy stickers. Yeah, just a bunch of random, random things. And there is a bunch of junk. <laughs> um, papers over there. 
my books, which I do love and I do read those. For some reason, this sign is in a basket when it's not supposed to be, but I could probably get rid of these two books. This book is a new edition. I know, well, not it's not a new edition per se. I do have it in her cover right there, The Lie That Binds, but this book is special because I won it designed by the author so I was really excited and I will keep this book forever she is my absolute favorite author and I have what else do I have here uh City of Ember I'm going to do that with my older kids um in school who was Walt Disney I'm definitely keeping this should bring this to school for the kids but I kind of want to read this myself <laughs> Charlotte's Web which is my absolute one of my favorites and these two books so I started reading this I need to finish it whenever I have the time right and this one was from the dollar store it's from Target Mary Kay Andrews high tide and I am going to make it a point to read it and then I can donate it so there keep me accountable I'm gonna read my books I'm gonna take these with me when I take her to dance and read instead of going to any stores. So now I have to go and check on Madeline and make sure that she's getting ready for bed. She should actually be in her pajamas in her room now already and I can tuck her in. That's a little sneak peek of what my office is looking like. I do like it. I like having the space. I'm glad it's not like a massive room that I can clutter up because as you can see it's small and it's cluttered. So. You can probably tell that I really want to simplify come the new year. Hopefully I'll be able to do that a little bit during Vlogmas and then uh, over the Christmas break as well and share it with you. But I'm going to get this video. It looks like it is finished. So I'm going to save the copy and I'm going to get it scheduled onto YouTube and I'm going to put it up but you'll have to let me know what time you prefer to watch these videos. I've been playing around and kind of reading into my analytics and it's saying that certain days there's different times that most of my viewers are online but I want to reach as many people as possible that are faithful viewers of Vlogmas and Vlogtober and all those fun vlogging months and I want to make sure I post at a convenient time for you all so let me know down in the comments which time you prefer to watch these videos if I should post early in the mornings or continue posting in the afternoons like I've been doing. Okay so I was going to pick up the camera later on but I think I'm going to call out this vlog today for day two of vlogmas is very short I think I showed you my classroom which I am in love with and I hope you enjoyed that and if you want to see more teacher related stuff let me know but uh, I basically keep this channel to cleaning organizing decluttering lifestyle that kind of content and then I shared with you the office, which I hope to be doing a good declutter and cleaning and organizing maybe on the weekend during Vlogmas um, with you. So stay tuned for that. Uh, if you haven't already uh, subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you are notified every time a new Vlogmas video is posted. I am playing around with the timings based on the analytics on YouTube. So I think my upload time for during the week is 4 p.m. Uh, Atlantic Standard Time. So let me know if that time is good for you or if you prefer mornings like I did last year. I think I did at 8 a.m. In any case, thanks so much for watching. I hope you all are staying safe and doing well. And as always, take care. We'll see you tomorrow for day three of Vlogmas. Night, everyone. Should old acquaintance be forgot in days of old?